Hi, I'm Mike Violette with EMC TV at the 2015 International Symposium on Electromagnetic Compatibility. I'm pleased to be in the Orbis Compliance booth with Elizabeth Perrier. Elizabeth, Principal of Orbis Compliance, mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about your activities. Hi, Mike. Um, pleased to be here today with you. Uh, Orbis Compliance is a company that uh, supports manufacturers around the world with product certifications in Latin America. Technology products primarily. Exactly. We actually cover wireless, uh, telecom, um, network, networking products, consumer products, the whole gamma, in including medical products in uh, Brazil. Um, what makes us different is because uh, we certify the products directly with regulators and uh, we own the projects from beginning to end. So you're interacting with the regulators directly, you're, you're carrying out the procedures, the conformity assessment procedures with them, and you're getting access to Latin American markets. Correct. And um, we have found that we have become a very valuable mar uh, partner to a lot of our clients because we can guide them as the type of certificates they would need to be able to distribute their product um, in a most effective way. Um, not only that, we're um, a great resource for them in terms of logistics to make sure that you know they are able to meet the deadlines in terms of manufacturing and deliver the product. So this yeah. is all market access stuff, right? Exactly. Yes. And mm -hmm. you're you're focused on Latin America. What what countries are you directly uh, engaged in? Uh, we cover all Latin America, uh, Central America, the Caribbean, mm -hmm. uh, including uh, Brazil and Mexico, obviously. Okay. And. and uh, our goal is to be able to provide a one-stop solution for our clients. We not only do certifications, but we also partner with uh, great experts to be able to have expertise in areas that also they need. And we're here with one of your expert partners right now. Exactly, uh, now Would yes. you like to introduce him? This is Keith Ripley. Uh, Hi. <laughs> Keith, Keith is a one-of-a-kind expert in North America. He concentrates on uh, environmental loss for Latin America and I'm very glad to have him here uh, participating with us. Keith, what are some of the challenges that uh, technology products have to uh, overcome in order to get access to Latin America? To get access, I mean, besides getting certified in some cases, um, mm -hmm. a lot of companies have problems just understanding the marketplace and what are their, what kind of compliant um, the requirements, regulatory requirements they have to meet uh, once they are in the market. For example, if you're in electronics and you're going to uh, in Brazil or such, um, Brazil's in the process of um, adopting take-back requirements for, for we, and um, so you have to know what sort of environment you're getting in, what would be your obligations, what are the obligations so, uh, you have to, uh, how you have to work with the distributors. Um, What's a, tell me, tell me a little bit. A take back requirements under under we. Maybe we, you could explain that a little bit. Okay, take back means basically at the end of the useful life of the product, um, you and your distributors and merchants are in charge of taking back the used equipment from the consumer, whether a business or an individual, and uh, ensuring that that uh, equipment either gets properly refurbished or recycled or is disposed of properly. Um, in some countries. It's the producer or the importer of record who actually has the responsibility to ensure that there's environmental, environmentally sound management. So this is uh, product life cycle uh, issues to make sure that we don't have heavy metals leaching into landfills? Yeah. Um, and uh, they are also, in many cases, in some countries, the building into the WE regulations, the ROS requirements, um, following the, the six substances that are controlled by the EU. Um, basically, you would have to um, design your products so that they're uh, ROS compliant, in essence. At least this is what's envisioned. Uh, in many places, it's not yet law, but it's in the process of being adopted. Hey, t uh, tell me a little bit more how the whole project works. Uh, if someone comes to you, Elizabeth, and mm -hmm. says, I need, to go to, I need to go to Brazil, mm -hmm. uh, I need to go to Argentina, uh, mm -hmm. how, do, how do you structure the projects and how do you get that execution? Mm -hmm. um, the great thing about us is that we are able to provide one solution for all the countries. So we work with you, take a look at your product, analyze it, and depending on the requirements that uh, you will need to meet, we will provide you summaries, uh, whether they are electrical or in this case energy efficient, uh, efficiency where uh, Keith will be involved. Um, and uh, one thing that makes us very different from any other uh, agencies, we have support in Brazil uh, in the testing labs. 
one-on-one uh, -on -one with people that uh, we directly support us. The same thing goes for Argentina, the same thing goes for Mexico. So we have engineering staff dedicated to us, able to respond at any problem that they may have in the labs. Well, those are, those are big markets for technology producers and you work with people from North America, from China, around the world. Around the world. Yes, we, we support um, Taiwan, Korea, China, um, Europe, pretty much everybody. So you're on the phone at 1 a.m. often. Sometimes, yeah. yes. Sometimes. <laughs> so Orvis Compliance, uh, getting your products access to Latin America. Uh, feel free to comp contact Orvis Compliance. Elizabeth Perrier, Keith Ripley, thank you for uh, showing on EMC TV. Thank you.